Growing up, both of my older siblings swam and all of my older cousins swam, so it was something that I knew I was gonna do eventually, but I never actually really wanted to get into it. I wasn't very eager. My mom actually had to convince me to start swimming. She said if I made it across the pool, that she'd buy me a Barbie, and I jumped in, didn't make it across the pool, but I still got the Barbie. Smith's progression in the pool led to a successful junior career. When given the choice for college, the recruiting process led her to a familiar school in the University of Virginia. My dad actually went to UVA, but he never really tried to convince me one way or the other. I think just ha knowing that he went here, though, made me like it a lot more. But I actually, when I was thinking about colleges and grade school, not very seriously, didn't really know much about Virginia swimming. I started to do a little bit more research and found out that they were really, really good. So then they were on my radar for a while and I watched their progress over the years and then I got really interested probably my junior year. She's a racer, she loves the spotlight, she wants to see what she can do with, with her talents in the sport. She wants the highest level and she's, she's hungry to get there. At Virginia, Smith has excelled in the pool. Her first year, she was the individual ACC champion in the 500 and mile freestyle. This year, heading into the final day of the conference championship, the team trailed rival North Carolina by 20 points. Going into the last day, the mile was the first event at night, and it was our first opportunity to score points. And UNC only had one girl in the mile, so we knew this was our chance to just get all the points we could and me and the other milers were talking before the race and just getting really pumped up and I knew that we could do something really special and we wanted to just start off the meet and just put a little fire in everyone so that they could swim really fast too. Milers can, can pump you up when they throw down because it's such a tough race. When they're giving it their all and that's on display, you know, with three or four girls in the same heat, all our women are just getting jacked up for the rest of the night. The second year posted a Georgia Tech Aquatic Center record time of 15.52 en route to a first place finish. The win propelled the team to the top of the standings where they would finish with their eighth consecutive ACC title. It was a lot of fun. There was so many girls on our team stepped up when we needed them to and it was just a really amazing moment to watch them do that. Her ascension in the pool landed Smith a spot on the U.S. Senior National Team where she competed this past summer at the Pan Pacific Championships in Gold Coast, Australia. To make Pan Pax and then Worlds this summer and World Use this summer, that boosted her confidence to another, to another level. She, she's a confident racer, a confident athlete, but that really bolstered her confidence. She won gold medals alongside some of the more talented women in our sport. Pan Pax was so much fun. It was my first big meet on the international stage and it couldn't have gone better because I came out of the meet with a gold medal with three other girls on the 4x200 freestyle relay and I learned so much about myself and about all of the top level athletes and I gained a lot of experience. It means so much to me especially because I've been dreaming about this since I was six years old when I started. When I was little, I made a checklist of things that I wanted to do. And it just started off really basic level, like go to zones and then go to sectionals, go to junior nationals, go to nationals, make the national team, and so on. And looking back, it's really cool that I was able to check off those things, those goals that I had made when I was really little. After not resting for the ACC meet, Smith's goal this year is to be in peak physical form heading into the NCAA championships. And this year, the challenge was, can I still swim fast without less rest? And I felt like I was able to do that um, and able to still like get my team as many points as I could. But it was definitely very challenging. But overall, I'm really glad that me and some of the other girls did it because I think we're going to really light up the pool in a few weeks.